Hey Sam here and welcome to Progressive Apps. Now here I am on my iPhone, uh, I've got uh, my standard desktop here and what Progressive Apps does is it allows you to be able to take a website and turn it into a pay, uh, an app for people to be able to view. So here's a typical website I usually read, uh, it's a bit of news and up the top you can see it's trying to get me to go on the app store to be able to download the app version of it. Okay, so this means multiple clicks, I've got to go to the app store, I've got to click on it, I've got to download it and then it puts it on its desktop. Okay, so uh, yeah, easy enough to do but there is a faster way that's coming out. Now here we are, I'm going to jump onto my clothing uh, business website here. Okay, it's loading up, it's a Shopify site and it is a just a standard Shopify store. Now if I want to add this to my home screen, I can add this and make it be on my home screen on my on my thing because that's what I did with the last website. I've got it on the home screen. So I can click on it and it takes it but you can see it's still in the browser. Okay, so it is not off the um, browser, it is still within the browser. Now, if I jump back over into this, this is the Progressive Apps Builder site. This has got it running on the hosting. Okay, and what I can do with this is I can actually uh, take this website but not install it as a thing. I go over to Add to Home Screen. And this is going to install it as an app, so you can see it's still got all the JV details on it. Okay, and this is going to install it on my desktop as a proper app. Okay, it does this for both iOS and Android, and we'll talk about that in a second. So here it is, it's a full functioning app. You can see it's not in the Safari browser anymore. Uh, it functions just like an app, it's lightning fast, it loads offline as well. I can uh, click up in the top for the navigation like you would expect uh, with any sort of an app. It is, it's basically uh, available on iOS and it's available on Android as well. I can push send push notifications to the people who have this app on on Android and that's rolling out in iOS soon as well. This is uh, the future of where apps is going. So this is the navigation if I click the navigation button up the top. So this is where it's going. You see it was installed in just a click. I didn't have to go to the app store. It didn't need app store approval. Anything like that. Super, super simple. So basically if you are looking to be able to uh, be able to do this to your website, there is a whole bunch of different opportunities out there for you as well. You can sell this to clients who may have a local site that want it done. You can sell it to people who have Shopify sites like my one uh, that would want to be able to push uh, sale information to their clients as well uh, right within their desktop. And people, if you have like viral content, be able to access it offline without a problem too, without needing to install an app and without the trickiness of having to go through the app store. So with that said, let's take a look at how easy it is to be able to create these right within our desktop. Cool, so let's take a look at how to turn this uh, website into an app. So if I go create new app here, and I click on this button, I, all I have to do is enter a website URL. So I'm gonna put in my website URL here, and I'm gonna click get started. I need to put in my name, so I'm gonna put in the name of the site, the short name, do that as well, in case it's, uh, the site name is longer. I'm gonna call this uh, shop premium. Marino clothing online. Okay, uh, I can, might even just call that app there for something different. However, I want to present it. Okay, upload an image. I go about, I find the logo, I click open, and then the start URL would be our homepage. I click next, and then it's super, super simple. All I have to do is download it. It downloads in a zip file. Once I got that zip file, all I have to do is upload that to my server to the root file. Uh, there is a number of tutorials on how to do it within the software. Uh, so all we have to do is just uh, upload it with that. There is also a WordPress plugin that makes it easy to be able to get it all synced up with WordPress as well. It is that easy to be able to create the app. So when people click that add to home screen, it's good to go. As you can see, it just takes seconds and it just takes a minute or so to be able to do it on your server as well.